Utility and Diagnostic Software, commonly known as BUDS2. The objective of this training is to show how to navigate in the BUDS2 application up in file mode. After a successful startup of BUDS2, the welcome page is automatically opened. You can click on eight different icons depending on what you want to do. A first good step is always to click on Summary. All task perspectives are structured identically and offer the following interfaces. The status bar on the bottom of the page displays a combo box to select VCI mode or a previously loaded BUDS2 file. Furthermore, the status bar includes the VIN, key status, and the battery voltage. The dashboard, always shown in the left part of the window, visualizes an overview of the connected VCI, the vehicle, and its modules. An element like VCI, vehicle or module can be selected by clicking on it. As a result, BUDS2 will show information about the selected element. The general state of the ECU is constantly shown on the dashboard. A green dot means that the ECU is working perfectly. A yellow dot means that there is either a fault or a flash file available for the module. The red exclamation mark means that there is an active fault in the module. The same icon in a yellow color means that there is an occurred fault in the module. A red lighting icon means that there is a mandatory update to perform on the module. A yellow lighting means that there is an optional update available for the module. In the toolbar shown on the top of the window, you can select the task you want to perform next. BUDS2 also contains general functions. The search function is one of them. Above every table, there is a text field which can be used to search through the table entries. The table sorting function is performed by clicking on the column name. It will sort the table columns from default sorting to alphanumerical sorting, either descending or ascending. The default sorting is based on the order of occurrence. The size of columns and windows can be changed by clicking on the column separator or window border respectively and dragging it to the preferred size. If needed, scroll bars are shown either in the window or inside tables. Select and drag the knob of the scroll bar to change the viewport. All information on the vehicle connected can be seen in the summary page. The vehicle information is divided into three categories on the right, Summary, Health and Statistics. By selecting the VCI or the vehicle in the dashboard on the left, general information on the vehicle is shown on the right side. Vehicle model as well as the customer settings can be changed by changing the value in the text field. The value is written whenever the focus is moved away from the text field. On the top, the Health tab shows a legend for the icons in the dashboard. Below, general problems on the vehicle are reported. The view is set up dynamically and shows which faults appear in which module. A description can be seen for every problem. Statistics is divided into Last Instance, Min, Max, Runtime and RPM Profile tab. To program keys into the vehicle or read the currently programmed keys, open the keys page. To program a new key, select the key type, example normal or rental. By clicking on add, the currently connected key will be registered with the selected key type. The new key will be shown in the table key usage which shows all programmed keys. To change the key type of an already programmed key, Double-click on a key in the table or press the green play button after selecting a key in the table. Selecting Erase key will remove the currently connected key. The faults page shows all active and occurred faults. Again, selecting an ECU will show the user only faults for the selected ECU. The bottom of the page will show environmental data at the moment the fault was detected possible causes for the faults and required service actions. You can clear the fault by clicking on the button on the top right. The measurements page has two tabs. The first one, Presets, presents in a graphic all the basic parameters that you usually will need to make proper diagnostics. 
The custom page allows the user to select all available parameters and monitor them. To do that, select one of the desired parameters. On the graph column, select if you would like to monitor the data over time using a line graph or if you prefer to look at it on a gauge graph. Non-numerical values can be seen using a switch graph where a green color means that the value is active. The flash page allows the user to see available updates related to every ECU. These can be optional or mandatory. Execute them by double-clicking on the file or by pressing the green play button. The functions page contains two tabs. I.O. controls represents the usual simple controls you can activate on your vehicle. The routines are series of I.O. controls contained in a sequence. The settings page contains three tabs. All available configurations and options of the module are listed in the configurations and options tab. The file page is used to open, save or close a BUDS2 file. Users can also open the service report, save it or print it. In the About page, information on BUDS2 such as version number can be seen. Clicking on Open Manual will open this exact BUDS2 manual. This completes our training on how to navigate in the BUDS2 application. By understanding all of its features, you will be able to make quicker and more accurate diagnostics, which ultimately means you will provide a better service to your customers.